example, when I did my PhD mm. in, in Imperial College London, mm. I was first year, first year, mm. and then I was in a discussion with my supervisor and my other colleague. Mm. I couldn't understand a word they were saying. Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Thomas. And I'm Hasbula. And this is Real Talk. In Real Talk, we invite special guests to share real life stories while we drive and talk. We get behind the wheels and find out what drives them, their life lessons and inspiration. My goal is to find golden nuggets of wisdom so it may inspire us to live life to the fullest. This is Will Talk and let's keep it 100. Hello everybody, welcome to Will Talk number 4. I'm here with Dr. Hasbula. Dr. Hasbula, you are an inspiration. Seriously. Thank you very much bro. I'll tell you why guys, because when I started my YouTube journey, I think Dr. Hasbula started also not too long ago. And uh, I noticed his subscriber count is like raising, 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 raising and during MCO. And now he has, uh, as of today, uh, he has 301,000 subscribers. Uh, that's, that's the last one I checked. Could be more by now when you watch this video. Uh, so you're such an inspiration. Thank you for being on the show. And uh, you know, I, I want to learn from you. I want to know what drives you, what inspires you and you know, First of all, thank you very much Thomas for inviting me to this show. Uh -huh. And hello everyone. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to Thomas' channel. And uh, Dr. Aspula's channel I too. believe you will learn so much more by subscribing because you'll get the notification. Talking uh, about learning, I think you will get more, they will get more from you. You're, you're an automotive lecturer, you know? No, I mean, I'm just happy to be here <laughs> and share, share my story. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, the reason I started the YouTube channel, uh -huh. Thomas, is first of all, I am a lecturer, uh -huh. an automotive lecturer, uh -huh. but my specialty is in fluid mechanics. So, and then during PKP, uh -huh. as a lecturer, we were struggling on how to deliver these subjects to oh. our students. So, we were not sure how long this pandemic will end. At one point, I decided, okay, let's make a video. Uh -huh. Okay, they, so that they can watch anytime they want. But then, after the semester ends, what now? Uh -huh. Right? Uh, I've recorded the subjects and everything. Yeah. So, I still have the camera. Uh -huh. What do I do with it? So, mm. I thought, uh, now, this might be a good time to start a YouTube channel. Uh -huh. But I wasn't so sure if someone is going to watch it. Uh -huh. And then, all those all those fears like in what language do I talk to mm. is somebody mm. even going to watch it uh -huh. do I know how to edit it uh -huh. but then I thought what would I do otherwise this is PKP we're not allowed to go anywhere <laughs> so let's just try it right so what would, what would you afraid of like would you mind to share with the audience like like were you afraid of criticism or you're afraid of wasting your time or what what are the fears that you that you were you were you had when you were of course there, there are so many fears uh, one of them is to get my facts wrong oh okay? because uh, i wanted to teach someone uh -huh. but if the teacher himself doesn't know what he's talking about uh -huh. it's gonna become a big trouble later right if someone follows you but you teach the wrong thing <laughs> and also the production quality oh now, i've been watching channels like engineering explain oh yeah uh, other channel donut media for example ah, yeah, yeah. these are very high quality production mm. and then they have their own researchers and everything yeah i'm, I'm kind of confident that i can deliver huh? but in terms of me inside the video getting people to judge me huh? that was the biggest fear oh. right and that of course relates i believe to everyone of us, every one of you that's watching this, yeah. that when you want to start something, yeah. you will, you will face the fear, whatever it is, right? What would you say to those people who, I want to do something, I, I, I'm i afraid to be criticized, afraid to be judged, what, what would you give direct advice to these people who, who have that? I think uh, fear comes from our confidence. We are not confident that we can achieve the end result that we want. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's say we want to do something from A to Z. Mm -hmm. right? We look at the result at the point Z. Uh -huh. Okay, of course, when we haven't done the A bit, mm -hmm. then we cannot imagine how to do Z. The first thing that you need to do is to take the first step. Do A. Okay. And then you do B. Mm -hmm. Without you knowing it, you are already F, G, H, and in no time, you'll be at Z. And everyone is at different level of journey themselves, right? Mm. It helps when you talk to people that is about the same journey with you. For example, when I did my PhD mm. in, in Imperial College London, mm. 
I was first year, first year, mm-hmm. and then I was in a discussion with my supervisor and my other colleague. Mm-hmm. I couldn't understand a word they were saying. Oh, yeah, that left me very stressful, very depressed, and I was thinking about going back to Malaysia, man. And just <laughs> so, quit. Yeah. yeah, just quit. I, I, oh. I don't belong here, man. And. Right? I think it took me like two weeks to get over it. Uh. Right? The feeling of oh, I'm so stupid, man. Uh. But, but and then. Because I was already there, uh-huh. so why not give it all, mm. right? Rather than quit, give it all, and then if I fail, I fail. Mm. Yeah. So we go, go back, reading books, looking at YouTube. After that, in my fourth year, right? Uh-huh. Now I am lecturing them, mm. right, about my work, mm. and I'm sure those first years wouldn't understand what I was talking about. Mm. But that's just showing that you talk with someone that is like at the same stage and the journey with yours mm. okay so it nice to have friends so what so yeah. what i'm hearing is that number one uh don't think so far right know know your outcome you want the z you know but but just focus on the first step in front of you i right? just do this do this and the rest you you let it be yes right yes yeah and the second thing i learned which is really important i think it's pretty cool for me is that because yeah, sometimes I get demotivated by my YouTube, you know, because you know the algorithm doesn't give me views, and, <laughs> and I think it's good to hang around, like you say, you know, hang around people who are on the same level with you, you know, then you don't feel like you're the only one struggling. And yes, this is coming from my example. My video was not very good the first attempt. Mm-hmm. So and then I was afraid of people watching me not being good. Mm. But so now you see, people watch, you scared. People not watch also you scared. You see how our mind playing trick with us? Yeah. Yeah, you see how our mind playing trick with us? Yeah. 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 So that's the point. Just start. Right? Mm. Just start and then you cannot control the outcome. So just keep doing it, keep doing it. After 20 or 30 videos, you will definitely not recognize yourself. Anything in our life, right? We you start also scared. Don't start also scared. Yeah. Right? Then what, then why contemplate, you know, whether, when would I not feel scared? You always feel scared, right? Just go for it. <laughs> just go for it, right? Go for it. And it's just like he says, just do it, right? Yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter you do or don't do. It's the same, yeah. right? So the question is rather, do you want on the one only, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, another thing I, I noted that, I know it, it's impromptu, but I hear something important. You say do uh, content, if you guys want to be a uh, content creator, do content that you are interested in, hobby, yes. right? You know, so some people they want to do content because oh this content will get more viewers. Okay. But you are encouraging us to do things that we are interested. Yes. But why is that so important? Because you know this is the same thing Bobby said, passion or money first. He said passion first. This is the kind of a misconception, uh. right? People go for two things uh. in YouTube. Uh. They go for views uh. and they go for niche where it's got a lot of money. Uh. If you do what you are passionate about, uh. you do about your hobby first you know a lot about about this thing so you will never run out of ideas mm. okay because this is a marathon mm. it's not yes, a sprint. yes yes it's not a sprint if you're chasing views mm. or chasing money then at one point how long you can go 100 videos 200 videos you get burnout isn't you it you get burnout you run uh. out of ideas uh. then the thing about youtube is audience can tell uh. if you are not happy talking about it i just want to ask one last question here how do you stay fresh? You know, how do you stay creative? Other than being passionate, because I know obviously you're passionate about <laughs> automotive, you know, but how do you stay, you know, so prolific, you know? I think I never discuss with anybody because it looks so effortless. Uh, is that next week, huh? I, I don't know what I'm going to publish yet. You don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I also struggle with ideas. Really? Yeah, sometimes I got like 10 good ideas. Uh-huh. But like now, huh? I don't even know what to do at the end of this week. I don't, huh? I don't know what, what my idea yet, <laughs> right? But the thing is, you keep reading, huh? keep doing research. One thing that they taught you very well when you do PhD is to keep doing research, mm. right? You do research and then something come along or some Inspiration. Recent, recent news and everything. Huh? Just talking with you, right? Talking huh? about your break. Uh, calipers, how uh, huge it is. Uh, that gave me an idea just now. Uh, <laughs> oh, So, you when you create content, then you look at everything as a source of inspiration. Basically, oh. I don't always have ideas, but when I do, and then I expand, extend on it, and then do a lot of research, get my facts correct, and 
at least that video can help someone. I do want to ask a few more questions and then later on I will stop over and let Dr. Azbula drive this car. Uh, so because, excited, man. Yeah, because I know that Dr. Azbula has been thinking about it. He, he, he texts me, you know, oh, how's the M2C, you know. If I cannot answer questions uh, when driving your car, then I hope you forgive me. Ah, uh, it's okay, no worries, no worries. You forgive me. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I want to go into something a bit more, maybe more fun. Uh. I believe that anyone in their life I always have like key moments in their life that that shape them. You know, certain key moments. Then you make key decisions. Suddenly, you, you your life change. You no. Know? So for me, like the key moment for me was like, okay, I, I gotta be figure out how to earn more money. You know, I can't enjoy cars in my life, right? So mm. I decided to quit uh, my job and then I go full time into my first business, right? So what is is there any moment in your life that were that were key for you? You know. Uh, actually, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, this happens when I came back from my school. Uh -huh. uh, this, this, was, this was during my PhD days. Came uh -huh. back in the bus. Uh -huh. And then I read a book. This book is called Four Hour Work Week mm. uh, by Tim Ferriss. Tim Ferriss, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so this guy was talking about walking four hours. Mm. We work minimum for 40 hours a week. Eight hours a Eight day. Eight hours per day. Five days is 40 Five hours. Five days a week, so 40 hours. 40 hours. Uh, but if you do business, 40 hours is a joke. Ah. Ah, okay, yeah. you need at least 60, yeah, 80, 80 hours. Yeah. <laughs> and then this guy worked four hours a week. Huh? Meaning that this is what he does seriously. Uh -huh. Four hours. Just like sitting down and really do work. The rest of it, just virtual assistant huh? or uh, outsourcing. Outsourcing. Mm -hmm. Of course, over time he becomes very good at it. Mm. Because I was reading that and then I got introduced to this kind of all the tools that he used to automate things and stuff and then just the, uh, the impact that you can work a tenth of your time to earn sufficient money Mm -hmm. to like to sustain yourself mm -hmm. and then what do you do with the rest of your time of course you can use that money to invest or to learn something else to say if you want to i don't know if you want to do something you can just do it when you read that four hour week mm -hmm. what do you decide at that moment so first is that time is important mm -hmm. time is important and then also knowledge is important mm -hmm. that is when i know that you can actually live someone else's life that's why top CEOs, they read like 50 books a year. And the good thing is that you don't even finish, you don't even have to finish the entire book. Yes, yes, right? yes. Go to the chapter that you, you want to learn from him or her. Yeah. Read that chapter, put the book away. Right? Yeah, like you're right, you're living someone else's life. But that can transform how you spend the rest of your life. That's even more valuable, if you ask me. More important than money because it will change how you use money, how you see money, how you see time, how you see people, how you see business. You know? What were the three books you recommend to your to the audience now that they must read? Uh, four Hour Work Week okay. by Tim Ferriss. Tim Ferriss, okay. And then uh, Robert Kiyosaki, uh -huh. Rich Dad Poor Dad. Oh, 100% percent you got to read that one, yeah. yeah. And then The Lean Startup by Eric Weiss or something, the name. Ah. Yeah. The Lean Startup is a blue book. Because it's so interesting, I'm just going to share it with the audience. Ah. Right? Uh, the thing with building a business is ah. just get your product ready. Mm. They call it the minimum viable product. Mm. Right? Can show the potential can really. Yes. It ah. doesn't have to be perfect. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. If you wait for it to be perfect, there's a saying that if you think that your product has no mistake, ah then you are too late already yeah. to bring to the market. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, that's really funny because you normally engineers, they fall in this trap of needing things to be perfect before they can present to anyone. Yeah. <laughs> but the opposite. And I think that's because you've been reading other people's lives. Huh? Yes. I really, I really, really think so. Okay, quick fire questions. I want to ask you about, um, what if, I'm sure that people ask you, hey, what car should I buy? I'm sure people, they ask you that, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. So I'm going to give you four demographic. And then you tell me, what is the one car that you think they should buy? Based on the demographic, okay? Okay. Alright, one car. First one. Uh, fresh grad. Just graduated. What about Saga? Why Saga? Why not Myvi? Why not uh, Axia? Or... Uh, <laughs> Myvi is much more expensive. Huh? Axia is too small. That's for me. Uh, for you, huh? Uh, but Saga, I think, you can use it long term. You know what I would say? Get a Suzuki Swift. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay, next one. Uh, now you're a young working adult, no, they, they maybe not married, no kids yet, but you know, late 20s, early 30s. Uh. Vios or City? Vios or City? 
Because ah, of city. That okay. is the usual suspect. Uh. Okay, next, family man. Now they got two kids, for example. They are the young family, two kids. Young family. Hmm. First of all, if you still have that saga, you can say using. <laughs> You're absolutely right! <laughs> you know, I like your answer because my view will be too small for some families, right? Uh, ah. I had a my view before. Huh? One stroller at the back, that's it. Abyss. You can't, you can't store anything. Ah, I see, Saga, guys. Yeah, Malaysian pride, you know, like, because my V is like, you know, you put Japanese engine in there, you know what? Okay, but, but then, what, what if the, the, the idiot bought the Swift, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, then by the time you uh, have kids and everything, uh-huh. then uh, Swift is might be gone already. Ah, yeah. <laughs> so you want something else. Uh, still, I would say Mazda 3. Yeah. Mazda 3? Mazda 3. Mm. Yeah, still, I don't know, for me. Yes. Okay, last one, 50 year old, retired, like want to enjoy life, you know, like... Get an X5. <laughs> X5. <laughs> X5. X5. Or if you are retired and then children already gone and uh-huh. uh, everything, you have uh, their own family. Uh-huh. It's only you and your wife want uh-huh. to reminisce the young days and everything. Uh-huh. Definitely, uh, uh-huh. a Z4 or uh, 718. Ah, 718, yeah. Yeah, 718. Best convertible. Best has, convert- to be, has to be a convertible. Lah. Ah, convertible, right? Yeah. yeah, see guys, once you get a convertible, you, you cannot go back already, right? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Once you have a convertible, this, that, oh, oh, oh. but once you get in a convertible, that's it, that's it, okay. We're gonna go over to a place to stop and swap. Last question for you though. Okay, scenario. Now you are, let's say one day you're casted for a movie and you are a hero in the movie. You, you, you took the heroine and then you are running away from bad guys, you know. But you got one car you get to choose. You, 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 what car would you choose? You're, you're now in KLCC, you have to run away from the gangsters, the bad guys. 911. 911 ah? Turbo ah. Huh? <laughs> in KLCC ah? Yes, you see, still, still oh, fine, eh? Ah, must have, must hero must have gaya, kan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, it's and then, only you and the girlfriend, kan? So, uh, after yeah. Habis, uh, then... You, uh, you don't need the back seat, eh? So, 9 and 11, uh, still okay. Eh? How about yours? Me, ah? Uh, uh, I get a MyV. <laughs> <laughs> because I can squeeze okay. anywhere, okay. and then I can pretend to be another car, you know? People see you, MyV, they will move away from you. They see you 911 behind or, or BMW purposely block you. Yeah. Say, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's stop, guys. Cool, cool. cool. Uh, well, okay, <laughs> Dr. Asbula is now on the seat. Okay, we're gonna drive back to our initial location. Okay, I'm uh, sorry, guys, here. if I cannot focus. So, uh, <laughs> okay, just tell us about the car. Okay, not reviewing the car, you know, guys. This is what we do in Evo Club. We like to rachun our friends. Uh, okay? and we rachun not because we, we wanted to spend money. Rachun because we we know we are car guys. And uh, one thing we always remember in our life is to uh, enjoy good cars. Yes. Right? yes. So, uh, Dr. Asbola has a beautiful Z4. Yeah, I think that shape of your Z4 is my favourite Z4. Timeless, right? Timeless. How do you feel about the car's uh, comfort so far? Uh, first of all, you wouldn't feel like you're driving a sport car. It's a very smooth and nice car, but still I haven't, 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 yet, haven't, huh? haven't drove it for a while. You've been going through bumps, you're going through bit potholes mm-hmm. and stuff. How, how do you feel? Uh, I think I can handle it. Can handle it? Huh? As, as a daily. And what's the secret of this car? Huh? I, have a, I, have a, I have a chassis enhancement, but secret one. What is that? Auto foam. Ah! ah. Okay, so that's okay. why you feel more comfortable. Oh wow! Because the M cars, they they mount the suspension straight to the main frame. There's no subframe. Okay, so you feel that it's very jarring, right? Yes. Ah, uh, so for this one, uh, with the auto foam, uh, what well, before the auto foam, one of the issue was my steering always tend to vibrate when it goes through because mm-hmm. it sits on the frame. Uh. Okay, 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 okay. Now now the the frame absorbs more. Ah, uh, that's so now good. your vibration on the steering is less. Yeah. Wow, it's so nice, Thomas. Anyways, before we turn back, uh, Dr. Asbula, thank you so much for being on our channel. And uh, yeah, please subscribe to Dr. Asbula's channel. Uh, he has so much automotive um, information. I learned so much from him. Uh, I binge watch a lot, a lot of videos during MCO. Uh, you know, I learned so much about engine, gearbox, oils, and you know, all those kind of things. And it really helped me because it helped me as an automotive uh, enthusiast. Vlogger, so I get my facts right also, you know. And and when I go to the workshop, I know they won't they won't uh, kencing me. <laughs> they won't kacau me. Yeah, they won't kacau me. You know, yes. and and that 
give me confidence to sometimes talk to the gearbox, uh, to the engine, uh, the, the workshop people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and when I have to spend the money, I know I'm spending on the right thing. You know, that's super important. Uh, if you're a car lover, go and watch. Go and watch uh, Dr. Hasbula's channel. Right? Thank you very much, Thomas, yeah. for this opportunity yeah. and for inviting me to, Thank you for your time, to, the, to the talk show. I mean, I hope you continue doing this. I will, I will. And yeah. keep inspiring many others to do a business, do what you want, yeah. and I know, just build something. We are here in this world not very long. Yeah. So why don't we use our time to build something that makes life easier for people? Mm. Alright guys, I'm gonna hang out with Dr. Asmula now. He's gonna he's gonna check out this car and hopefully there's some straight roads for him to just experience the full talk and uh, power of this car. Alright? So uh, with that, thank you so much for watching and uh, again subscribe to his channel, subscribe to my channel, turn the bell notification if you want more alert. Uh, from content like this in the future and also let us know in the comments what did you get out of this video uh, I would love to hear from you and if you have any questions that you might have towards myself or Dr. Hasbula drop it in the comments below or reach out to me on Instagram I'll do my best to get back to all of you alright and uh, and please please like content it really helps me with all. alright that's all I'm asking for alright love you guys keep it 100% and uh, I'm gonna have fun with Dr. Hasbula ciao alright see you